Hello, everyone. Hopefully, you've seen my video where I outlined that research doesn't support the idea that multivitamins provide any benefits. Instead, we should try to get our vitamins and minerals from real foods, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes, not pills. However, even with a healthy diet, certain nutrients can be lacking. These key nutrients are vitamin D, vitamin B12, iodine, and omega-3 fatty acids. I am not saying that research definitively suggests you need to supplement these four nutrients. But I do want to highlight that they're essential and often deficient in many people. It's crucial to understand your personal needs based on your lifestyle and genetics to determine if supplementation is necessary. In this video, I will be focusing on vitamin D with future videos covering the other three. So why do we need vitamin D? Vitamin D is vital for several critical bodily functions. For example, without sufficient vitamin D, our body can't effectively absorb calcium, leading to weaker bones and increased risk of fractures. Vitamin D also enhances our body's ability to fight off pathogens, boosting our immune defense. Vitamin D might also help in reducing the risk or severity of cancer and diabetes. But if you put all the randomized controlled trials on vitamin D supplementation for the prevention of type 2 diabetes together, daily supplementation with a thousand or more units of vitamin D does indeed reduce the risk of diabetes among pre-diabetics. And the three large trials that were specifically designed and conducted for the prevention of diabetes, vitamin D supplementation reduced the risk of developing diabetes by about 10% overall. What about putting all the randomized controlled vitamin D studies together for cancer prevention? Those randomized to take vitamin D supplements were 13% less likely to die from cancer over the subsequent 3 to 10 years. The most natural source of vitamin D is sunlight. However, many people, myself included, don't get enough sunlight, leading to vitamin D deficiency. During winter months, those living north of Raleigh, North Carolina in the U.S., or Srinagar in India, won't produce sufficient vitamin D from sunlight. And there are factors like skin color, genetics, and age that also affect our ability to synthesize vitamin D. If you are unsure whether you are deficient in vitamin D, it's best to get tested. I found out I was deficient in November 2021 and started supplementing with 2,000 international units of vitamin D3 from Costco. However, I didn't take it regularly, so I was still a little bit low in March of 2023. Fortunately, I reached the recommended range, which is 30 or more, by February of 2024. One last tip. Make sure that the brand you're buying is USP certified. USP certification ensures that what's on the label is actually in the bottle. The supplement industry is largely unregulated, and hence the USP certification is important for ensuring quality. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.